Hello, this is LP again. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. For this uh, lab, I'm going to help you to insert some data into SQL on my SQL with uh, two way. First one is encrypt. Uh, first one is plain text, and the next one is cipher or encrypted, which is when you insert the data into the data uh, the shell already or the field you might call it that way. They are used MD5 encrypted, so it would be not a bank tax if someone copied that that's um, data out. This is really XM, of course. Um, okay, first, I'm going to check whether my SQL is installed. Next one, I log in from remote, and then I copy and paste. The reason for that is I copy and paste the statement is easier. Although I got to top the whole thing, it's make more mistake what I'm going to make. Okay, so I have my centos here, so I'm going to check it out my um, You can do service my SQLD status Now it's running or you can do nmap Check your status uh, Sorry, uh, nmap local hold. Okay, 3306 3, TCP Okay, now I'm going to log in from remote, right? So basically, I have set up my environment already. I log in from, from remote. So now I'm going to my SQL. My SQL. I mean my SQL now. Remotely, right? So I minimize this one. I just minimize that. So I just work from remote. Okay, so now I'll show database. See what database I have. So I don't. So I'm going to create a database. Create a database. Create database. Say podcast. Yeah. Post. Make a capital P. Uh, P. DB. Yeah. Semicolon at the end. Enter. Okay. So show database. Now you have that database. For further information about database, you can go on there. Search for search on Google. You have this this whatever that show database. And they give you how to do it. You can do capital as well for, for, for group. The next one, I'm going to do that, right? And you have here, right? So don't worry about that. So next one, I'm going to use uh, semicolon, enter. Okay, now I'm going to make a table. So here we go, table, show the table. They will show nothing, and then you make a table. Follow the instruction if you want more explanation or, or example, okay? So I have my symbol table here already. That's the table I have. So I'm going to change this user ID, what blah blah there. I just change the ID. Okay, I copy this ID, I copy that table. So I'm going to my Linux. But now you can show table here if you want to. Show table, that's not table. Okay, I paste my code from the internet. Okay, I have a table now. So you can show table, you have one table user ID. Okay, so first, I've got to insert a couple, um, I've got to insert uh, two line uh, into database. So insert into ID, username, pass. That is your my username and pass there, 25 character. Insert the first line, I copy and paste. And second line, you can just do this later, or it's up to you, or you can do this is example, of course. Otherwise, normally you have to top them in, all right? So, show, uh, show, no, select, select everything from user ID. So, user ID is in this case a table, right? Show everything from user ID. So, I have a whatever the username password. So in the same scenario that you encrypt John, okay, say, uh, okay, I put uh, Johnny, okay, and I put this one, I don't say John Dana, I put Jeff. Okay, so Jeff, I put the password there. So now I'll copy this in, of course, uh, you can, you should type them in, enter, I'm missing somewhere, in search, uh, there we go. I got problem there. See that problem because I copy over the my uh, the, the 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 system it changed to the default. So I got to control C here. So I get back out. Okay, get back in. So I had to use 
use uh, my table, my database podcast db semicolon. So I'm going to fix that here. You see that that's double quotation and this double quotation is different. So that's you get trouble. That would be all right. Okay. So let me fix this before I copy and paste. So make sure you copy and paste. Really be careful that. Otherwise, they change. They change everything. Okay, should be all right now. Okay, now I have a couple of tables. So show as uh, selects everything from user ID. There we go. So with MD five, with MD five, then encrypted. So further information about encryption. So that's table encryption. You can go on to search for MD five encryption and decryption function in SQL in my SQL of course, and that's what I've been using. Okay, here the example. Okay, so you can go around around there. You can play around with further encryption if you wish to. There's many other encryption and decryption in my SQL because I'm not my SQL expert. I just help you to play around with this a little bit. Okay, so I'll go back to our goal at the beginning, which is we done that, and I done that for the reason of copy and paste, and I make the table, uh, create the database, you know, where the website, a table. If you don't know, you can visit on the internet, insert data, insert table, so you can get on here. You go on Google, it says MySQL insert uh, into table you can select that they came out plenty for you there we go there we go insert data and i hope down there got a couple examples there you go there's some a lot of comment that people put it in if you want to learn further in deep into database as i said i'm not expert in database okay people best of luck bye for now